Right. Welcome. So today uh, I'm going to show you how I went about making this dressing table. I'll go from start to finish. Um, obviously, uh, the materials I've used really st standard stuff you can get from any big builders merchants. So I got six six by one and four by one, uh, and then jointed the boards, uh, used the router table, uh, and then made some drawers. Um, as you can see, drawers just simple drawers. And yeah, we'll go through go through the whole lot. You should see how I do it, and you could use this on on many other projects. Um, uh, as I say, if you like if you like what you see, um, subscribe. Uh, and if you've got any questions, let me uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to start by jointing some boards. To so I'm going to be using some PAR. I want the width of it to be about 600. So four six foot ones, about 150. So about 600 in depth. So I'm going to choose four of the best that I've got and now I start cutting them and putting them together. So I've already chosen them. I've found four pieces um, which have virtually no knots. In. See that the timbers are all pulling together, and the idea is that you get them planed and matched to each other, and then that means that when you pull it together, there's there's less stress on the glue, and they just sit together. So the theory is it shouldn't open up too much, but you know what it's like. It may do. Cut them face side down, so that means that when I come to put them together, <coughs> it'll be the face. Or the or the, the face which everything will have been cut off. So if there's any slight slight inaccuracies in the thickness of the timber, it will show up on the back side, not on the face side. Just get a bit of sandpaper and knock any of the rough edges off because some of these will stop it from cramping up. Castamite glue is when it goes off, it's like rock solid, no creep, so it's really good for this sort of thing. Let's give it a go. Thank you. 
going to use a bit of MDF. I'm going to make a template for one leg, um, and then I am going to um, then use usually use the browser and a, a trim bit to to make to make four identical legs. Don't worry about using your plane on MDF. It does a job. Just blunt it, but obviously you can sharpen it. glue it on is using double sided sticky tape. So I'm going to be using spine joints, mitered spine joints, and to, to do that, uh, especially with a, a wide board, I'm going to make a jig, and the jig is cut at 45 degrees, so you put a piece of timber in here like this, and then you can use this face as a guide for your planer or whatever to cut it off at 45 degrees. You will then cut grooves in the end of the, of the mitre, and then that will enable you to put a little bit of a bit of plywood or something in there and it will make a very strong joint. Just need a little bit of plywood, a bit of timber, and then just cut this at 45 degrees and then also put plant on a strip underneath. So you've got that at 45, but it actually is, makes that uh, 90 degree angle. So it gives you a guide for your router's, um, for your router's fence.
kriegen wir nicht. This, this should be it. Not bad. Now it's time to finish it off.